Don't get too comfortable. No way! fate. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Even over here? What happened? You're badly wounded. Oh, it's you guys. If you want to finish me off, now's your chance. I don't have any strength left to fight. You're hurt badly. Professor, please! Heal her. I will. But first, I want you to tell me what happened here. It seems she has companions, and this may just be a trap to catch us off guard. Professor! <laughs> You're as devious as you look. Call me what you like. Take a look at this city. Everything's in ruin. The designs invaded. What? Do you know about the human ranch northeast of here? The people of this city had been hiding some folks who escaped from the ranch. The Designs found out about it. And not only was the entire population forced to go to the ranch, but the city was destroyed. So how were you injured? It's nothing. I was just a little clumsy. It's Clara. She managed to get all the way here. Stay back, you monster! Damn it! Clara, please! 
Calm down. Colette, are you okay? He yes. She's lost a lot of blood. You're right. Professor, please heal her. Professor, please. Fine. But I swear, you're all way too soft-hearted for your own good. Why... Why did you save me? Probably for the same reason you saved that man. Thanks. I know it's a selfish, unreasonable thing to say at this point, but... Um, I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? I owe the people of this city for food and lodging. Please, help me save these people. If you agree, I'll declare a truce with you and help in any way I can. All right. Lloyd, are you serious? I agree with Lloyd. Colette, not you too. What about you? I see no problem with it. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Rain. Fine, do as you wish. I suppose if we look at it another way, it does mean we can keep a close eye on her. <laughs> you better watch out so you don't lose your head while you sleep. A world of hurt. No way!
think they can come back. Uh, you're becoming more like Lloyd, aren't you? It looks like this is an x manufacturing plant. So it would seem. These are all x -spheres? Incredible! Shh! I hear voices coming from the next room. I don't hear anything. Be careful anyway. <laughs> you! Uh-oh. These are the designs we ran into in the tree at Desert. They still think we're designs. Sir, this is the perfect chance. Are you looking for a fight? Wait. Kratos is with them. We'll retreat for now. You know each other? I suppose. If you mean the fact that we ran into them at Isalia and Triad. I think it would be in both our interests for us not to fight here. Do what you will.
Colette! Kratos! I'm okay. No time for that. Look behind you. Huh? Well, this is a surprise. When I heard we had some rats, I assumed it was the renegade Bota. But instead, I find the wanted inferior beings. But I must say that I'm quite impressed that you're still alive after that attack. Who are you? You barge into my ranch and then demand my name? Wow, Lloyd. Isn't this usually the other way around? Genus, this is not the time. He's Kavar, one of the five Desion Grand Cardinals. <laughs> ah, I see that some of you know me. It's just as Forcista said. That X-Fear is without a doubt the product of my Angela's project! Good job, Colette. Let's go, everyone!
Human ranches are extra manufacturing plants. Why else would we spend our time raising and taking care of these inferior beings? That's terrible! Terrible? Terrible is what you've done. Stealing and using extras that we've invested so much time and care in creating. You deserve to be punished. Damn, we're surrounded! Lloyd, your extra was to be an offering to Lord Eudrasia. It's time you gave it back. Eudrasia. I suppose that's the name of your leader. Yes. Now, for the sake of our great leader, Lord Eudrasia, and for the sake of my own success, I need an X-Sphere. Again? What's so special about my X-Sphere? That is the result of years of time-consuming research. I can finally reclaim what was stolen by that filthy female host body. What are you talking about? The female host body? You're not talking about... Hmm... You don't know anything, do you? That x was cultured on host body A012. Human name, Anna. Your mother. She took it and escaped from the facility. Of course, she paid for her crime with her life. You killed my... Now, now, don't blame me. I'm not the one that killed Anna. Your father did. Please. When her key crestless x was removed, Anna turned into a monster. And your father killed her. Pathetic, don't you think? Do not speak ill of the dead. <laughs> Who cares? You were both just a couple of filthy humans. Worthless maggots. I'm gonna use the last one, Grandpa. They disappeared! Your orders, sir? Let them go. We can find them anytime by following the chosen signature trail. Right now, the more pertinent task is retrieving the X-Fears. Find the renegades. Thank you, Sheena. Don't mention it. But what are you gonna do now? Let's return to Lewin first. I concur. Okay. Spheres are made from human lives. This is Marble's life. not just an X-Sphere. It's also your mother's life, remember? But these things make a mockery of human life. 
but we would have lost long ago had we not had them. Don't you think I know that? Do you really? If you throw away that X-Fear now, do you think you can finish this journey? Yeah, I know. Without these things, we're just a bunch of weak humans. We can fight because we have these, I know that. But x fears exist as a result of taking someone's life. And? Those people didn't become victims because they wanted to. But I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into x fears My opinion may not matter much because I don't use an x fear But I believe the designs will defeat us if we throw away our x fears now. And if that happens, more people will lose their lives to these stones. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this journey to be meaningless. Colette's right. We can throw away the x fears at any time. But right now, we must carry the weight of the hopes and dreams of those victims. And fight for their sake, as well as ours. Didn't you say you weren't going to hesitate anymore? Yeah. I hate to say it, but you're right. Mom's regrets and wishes dwell in this thing. To prevent creating more victims like Marble and my mom. I'm going to help Colette. I will fight for both myself and my mom who lives on within me. Yeah, me too. I'm going to fight on Marble's behalf as well. Me too. I'm going to regenerate the world as quickly as I can. People are sinful creatures. Life survives at the cost of another. Then we must continue to bear the burden of our sins for as long as we continue to live. Life survives at the cost of another? I don't really know how to say this, but I don't think there's a way to justify the lives sacrificed to make X-Spheres. They have to be stopped at all costs.
Too much?